there's so many people that, you know, this is the difference in whether or not they can make rent or pay a bill and things like that. It's been really helpful getting that and having that set extra amount of income that you know you're going to get every month. So for me personally, I put some money in savings and then I used the rest to, to put towards some bills. I've just been thinking about what I can do with that months going forward, like, you know, the extra things like taking my son to a festival or getting a toy that he wanted that I normally couldn't afford for him and just like knowing that we can have those extra things that we wouldn't normally be able to do. I have advocated about the child tax credit by doing media pieces about its impacts, um, meeting with my local representatives about the impact of the child tax credit, and also being part of a focus group um, to talk about the impacts um, both personally and then what it would have in my community. The child tax credit would be important to continue because having the freedom to be able to make those payments monthly and to get that assistance rather than having to wait all year to catch up on bills and then you have all that interest that you have accumulated while you're waiting for that. And having those things in real time rather than having to struggle throughout the year and then wait for it is just such a difference that it's really important that we allow those families the independence to be able to make those choices themselves each month rather than having to wait for it. That has had a really big impact um, even in the first month that I've received it and I'm really grateful for it. And I know that there's so many people that you know, this is the difference in whether or not they can make rent or pay a bill and things like that. It's just such an important thing and it's so beneficial to children and it really stimulates the economy. So I really hope that it stays permanent.